They hate your authority. See, God has blessed you with power. He's blessed you with authority. When you say something, people listen. When you do something, people follow. And for so long you were unaware of this power, unaware of the kind of authority that you had and you had been blessed with. And you didn't mislead people on purpose, but you just weren't aware of how much people looked up to you and you felt like you were just a normal person. You felt like you were abandoned. So you veered off into a certain path of pity party and negativity, lust, drugs, whatever the case may be, not understanding that people are looking to you for hope. People are looking to you for direction. People are looking to you for the next step. And now that you truly know who you are and you're walking into who you are, people are scared because the whole reason that they sent the attacks that they sent was to distract you from who you are and your purpose because they saw this authority and this power from a young age and they knew that it came from the most high. They knew it came from Lord Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, right? And you can only receive this type of authority and power and this overall strength from the source because others didn't get theirs from the source and others didn't have this type of pull and they didn't have this type of power with their words and power with their actions. They didn't want you to have it. But now that you do have it, you're able to move in ways and do things that are going to change this world. It's going to blow your mind and it's going to blow their mind in ways that they couldn't imagine. These people are going to lose sleep. They're going to come into everything that they couldn't imagine themselves coming into because they bet against you. And meanwhile, you're going to be making major decisions. People are going to be depending on you. You're going to be taking care of people. You're going to be blessed. You're not going to have time to be stressed because not only is God going to give you power and authority to make decisions and bless people's lives and change this world, but he's going to give you the peace and the joy and the happiness to go with it. So you're going to be bouncing around, dancing. Hey, what's up? Hey, all right. Yep, we're doing this. Okay, we're doing that. Okay, done. Break. Let's do it. Right? Meanwhile, these people are depressed in a hole. They're in their own mind, not knowing what to do because they should have focused on themselves and grown themselves and grown into the power and the anointing that God had for them. But they wanted to try to confuse you. They wanted to try to distract you. And it's not all on them because you made certain decisions and self-sabotaged at times but your heart always stayed pure. And the fact that you have bounced back and came this far, guess what? It comes with blessings. It comes with a position that you may not have even guessed that you would even come into, but you always wonder why you had to go through so much. You always wonder why he put you through so much. And the whole time you stayed humble, you were down to earth. You were not just a blessing to yourself, but a blessing to others. You are still keeping your character intact, bro. You are still keeping your heart intact, sis. You aren't letting the trials and tribulations of life break who you are. And this is why you're so powerful. This is why what you say goes. This is why when you send a prayer up, it goes straight to the throne room of the Most High God. This is why they're mad. And this is why you're going to change the world with your gifts because God didn't bless you for no reason. So keep pushing and be aware of your authority to where you can help others and not lead people in the wrong direction just because of lack of knowledge. Because like the Most High God said, my people perish from what? Lack of knowledge, right? So understand that we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep moving and don't you be afraid to hop down there in that comment section and say, I am royalty and I am powerful with Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Make sure you guys hop down there and join that membership program. 
Make sure you guys hop down there and like this thing up, share this thing up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell button. We keep in the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys in the next one.